Another day, another story. Singapore Airlines, like all airlines, encounters turbulence during some of its flights. Turbulence is a common and often unavoidable occurrence in aviation caused by various atmospheric conditions, such as changes in air pressure, jet streams, and weather systems. However, Singapore Airlines, renowned for its safety and service, has protocols and measures in place to handle turbulence effectively to ensure passenger safety and comfort. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. One passenger died of a suspected heart attack and many others were injured after a Singapore Airlines flight from London to Singapore hit severe turbulence on May 21, forcing the Boeing 777300 Urjet to divert to Bangkok. The sudden turbulence occurred over the Irrawaddy Basin in Myanmar about 10 hours into the flight, the airline said. The pilot declared a medical emergency and diverted the aircraft to Bangkok, it said. Aircraft tracking provider Flightradar24 said at about 0749 GMT the flight encountered a rapid change in vertical rate, consistent with a sudden turbulence event, based on flight tracking data. There were thunderstorms, some severe, in the area at the time, it said. Rapid movements. Altitude data from Flightradar24 shows how the aircraft was thrust up and down over the course of a minute before returning to its original cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. During the event, the plane's vertical speed, the rate by which the plane ascends or descends, quickly surged to 1,664 feet per minute before plummeting to 1,536 feet per minute in a matter of three seconds. What is turbulence? Turbulence or pockets of disturbed air can have many causes, most obviously the unstable weather patterns that trigger storms, according to an industry briefing by European plane maker Airbus. The resulting water particles can be detected by weather radar. Crews plan ahead by studying turbulence and other weather forecasts, which have improved over the years, loading extra fuel when needed and monitoring weather radar during flight. Clear air turbulence, CAT, is a sudden and severe swirl that causes violent buffeting of a plane even where there are no clouds, according to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. Such pockets of air can occur without warning and are hard to predict. Mark Prosser of the University of Reading said Tuesday's event most likely involved convective or storm-related turbulence, but stressed it was too early to be certain. Other factors can disrupt the smooth flow of air around an aircraft. Frontal turbulence happens when a plane flies through a weather front, where different air masses meet. This mixing of air causes unstable conditions and bumpy flights. Flying through the wake of other aircraft can also cause disruption. Other forms of turbulence can come from airflow disruptions from ground obstacles like buildings and mountains, common during takeoff and landing. On hot, sunny days over land, rising warm air and descending cooler air can also cause turbulence. Buckling up. When an aircraft encounters turbulence and suddenly moves, anything not secured, such as passengers, can continue moving in the original direction, while the plane moves in another. Injuries from turbulence can occur as passengers are thrust towards the ceiling of the aircraft. During severe turbulence, the plane can drop abruptly, causing everything not secured inside to rise suddenly. An unfastened person can hit the ceiling hard. Photographs from the plane's interior showed large gashes in the overhead cabin panels, gas masks and panels hanging from the ceiling and items of hand luggage strewn around. A passenger said some people's heads had slammed into the lights above the seats and punctured the panels. A photo of the cabin of Singapore Airline Flight SQ-321 after it made an emergency landing, showing oxygen masks deployed and parts of the overhead luggage compartment hanging down. A photo of the cabin of Singapore Airline Flight SQ-321 after it made an emergency landing, showing where a panel of the overhead storage above a seat had been broken. The interior of Singapore Airline Flight SQ-321 after it made an emergency landing. Unions representing U.S. airline pilots and flight attendants told Reuters the incident highlights the importance of following crew instructions and wearing seatbelt whenever seated. But they cautioned that leaving the seatbelt sign on all the time could erode its significance, causing passengers to start ignoring it. Among the most exposed to injury are crew who must tour the cabin to check seatbelts have been fastened when signs go on. Airlines are required by law to switch on the seatbelt sign during takeoff and landing, 
but carriers have their own procedures to deal with mid-air turbulence. Aerospace safety expert Anthony Brickhouse said passengers need to minimize their movement on flights and always stay buckled in, regardless of the seatbelt light. A seatbelt sign always on some pilots and flight attendants say leaving the seatbelt sign on throughout a flight would backfire, as passengers would start to ignore it. The seatbelt sign means something, and if you leave it on all the time, it means nothing, said Dennis Todger, a spokesperson for the Allied Pilots Association, American Airlines Pilot Union. All modern commercial jets are designed and built to cope with forces many times those experienced in flight, Hayes said. But according to Swedish turbulence forecasting website Turbli, the feeling experienced by passengers varies from plane to plane and seat to seat. Long planes can feel most turbulent at the back and the ideal spot is around the center of gravity, typically just ahead of the wings. How common is it? Turbulence-related incidents are common, according to a 2021 study by the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board. From 2009 through 2018, it found that turbulence accounted for more than a third of reported events and most resulted in one or more serious injuries, but no aircraft damage. Yet fatal turbulence in air travel remains extremely rare. It is a very unusual and rare event. As far as I can tell it is over 25 years since a passenger was killed by commercial airliner turbulence, said Paul Hayes, director of safety at UK-based aviation data group Sirium Ascend. The last fatal turbulence-related accident on Sirium's database involved a United Airlines Boeing 747 in 1997. Advanced technology in aircraft design. Modern aircraft used by Singapore Airlines are designed to withstand significant turbulence. These aircraft are equipped with advanced technology that helps pilots anticipate and manage turbulent conditions. Pilot training and expertise. Pilots at Singapore Airlines undergo rigorous training to handle various in-flight situations, including turbulence. They are trained to navigate through or around turbulent areas safely. Communication. The flight crew communicates with air traffic control and meteorological services to receive up-to-date information about weather conditions and potential turbulence. This helps in planning the safest and most comfortable flight path. Passenger safety measures. Passengers are advised to keep their seat belts fastened when seated to prevent injury during unexpected turbulence. The flight crew will make announcements and provide instructions when turbulence is anticipated. Ongoing improvements. The aviation industry continuously works on improving technologies and procedures to better predict and manage turbulence. If there were any specific incidents or notable increases in turbulence-related events involving Singapore Airlines, they would typically be investigated thoroughly by aviation authorities and the airline itself to ensure safety standards are maintained and enhanced. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.